Welcome back to Food Friday. Today I'm going to show you the cost breakdown of a recipe and how much it would cost per person and per recipe. So here we have a very simple recipe of beef lasagna and the first thing that we need to do is go through and price everything. And what I did is that I priced everything very roughly and this will help us so I've already gotten that step out of the way. Next thing that we need to do is we need to see if there are any items that need to be broken down even more. This is the price of one jar, so we don't need to break that down. The one pound of ground beef and that's $1.99 per pound. So we come down to the eggs and two eggs are called for in this recipe, but eggs are priced at $1.99 per dozen. So what we need to do is divide $1.99 by a dozen, which is 12 eggs. That comes out to roughly 17 cents. And then we need to multiply 17 cents times 2. Whoop. Then we multiply 17 cents times 2. We get 34 cents. So it costs 34 cents for two eggs. And then just for demonstration's sake, I put uh, 12 lasagna noodles are in 16 ounces. I don't know how many are exactly in there, but that's just what I'm going to say for now. So now what we need to do is we need to add up all of the items. And the cost is $13.40 for everything. So this recipe costs $13.40. So I forgot to put the these servings. There are 10 servings in this recipe. So now what we need to do is we need to divide this by 10 and that will give us the cost per serving. So it costs $1.34 per serving. So here you have the cost for this entire recipe. If you only have two people in your family, uh, that will give you five servings, five separate meals. So that is a fantastic payback for this meal. Of course, if you have more than two, then the meal return will be slightly different. So I hope this is helpful for you when you're grocery shopping and you need to know the exact amount for a particular recipe. This is how you break it down. And you will be able to pick out how much each item is the more you shop and the more you are able to write down the cost of the items that you shop for regularly. Of course, if you need a rough estimate, you can always go on the internet and check out how much something could cost. And I hope this is helpful for you and have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Bye!